Hello, fellow Americans. This is Mr. Steffler coming to you from room 111 in Clintondale Middle School. The intention of this video is to um, help you with your studying for the um, upcoming quiz. It's right here before progress reports, and I want to make sure that, um, that everybody does as good as possible. First of all, I want to remind you that this paper here on the Declaration of Independence, um, front and back with the sketches, is due tomorrow, Thursday, uh, October 5th. So I want to get that taken care of out of the way. Um, I want to talk about the quiz. The quiz is um, mainly having to do with um, Thomas Jefferson declares a declaration. This is posted on uh, Edmodo as a PDF. This needs to be read. Three of the questions on the quiz are about this picture. We've talked about this picture of Jefferson um, talking to Franklin and Adams about revising the Declaration of Independence which is basically the subject of our quiz, which is the Declaration of Independence. Here it is. No, I did not steal this from the National Archives. No, I did not steal this. I see you looking at me back there, Thomas Jefferson. I see you. Okay, so this is a replica of the Declaration of Independence, and in it we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. These are the words of Thomas Jefferson, the author of the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson, uh, very simply, is a rich um, plantation owner from Virginia. Um, he uses some pretty um, awesome words. He talks about um, um, he talks about these truths being self-evident. Self-evident means obvious. That's something that is on the um, on the quiz. Now Jefferson is not the only one who um, writes this document. He writes it himself. He's the author. But then a committee. A small group of people um, helped him revise that document. Um, in the document, it talks about the natural rights of man, that, that the king or the government or um, the president does not give us our rights, that our rights are endowed, which is given to us by our creator. Our rights are given to us by our creator. And this is, uh, this is something that the government is not supposed to take away. In fact, the government's job, according to Jefferson, is to secure the rights or protect people's rights. That's the government's job. And um, not, our government has not always done a great job with this. But um, no government um, in history has been perfect at securing all people's rights. Um, Jefferson talks about the consent of the governed. The word consent means permission, and the word governed um, is basically the people. So what he's saying is the people um, give the government its power, not vice versa. The, the government doesn't give people rights. The people give the government, through consent, the power that the government has. In fact, um, at one point in the Declaration of Independence, which he wrote in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he wrote it in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the city of brotherly love. Some call it the Liberty City because this is where our country gained its liberty. Anyway, um, he referred to King George as a prince whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant and is unfit to be the ruler of a free people. So at the end of the Declaration of Independence, um, Jefferson lists the grievances of the colonists, all the things that he thought you know, was wrong with what the king did um, in um, the years leading up to the revolution. Um, he refers to the king as a tyrant. He uses the word tyranny a lot. What tyranny is, is the cruel or oppressive government rule. That's what tyranny is. In fact, um, Martin Luther King fought against tyranny in amongst the state governments down in Alabama. Um, during the Rosa Parks bus boycott, that was a that was tyranny, and it was oppressive rule, and that's why um, Tom, um, Martin Luther King used the Declaration of Independence to make some of his points on the um, civil rights during the civil rights movement. Okay, so um, the only thing else that's going to be on the quiz that I want to discuss is um, there is going to be a part uh, about Paul Revere's ride. Um, it's going to ask, like, what kind of poem it is. Um, it's going to ask, um, you know, some things about, um, like, which lines in the poem 
is most important to the story and which lines are kind of just window dressing or just kind of throwaway lines or, or stuff that adds details. It's going to talk about, um, it's going to talk about the poem itself. So, um, there's going to be a little bit about the poem, but mostly it's about, um, the declaration of independence. So I think this was a very good video. If you watch this video a few times and jot down some things and study tonight, I'm sure that you're going to do very well. I want to remind you that Friday pages two, three, and four are due right before progress reports. So um, without any further talk, um, God bless you and God bless America. Boom.